up everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. First of all, I cannot not acknowledge the fact that we are less than 500 subscribers away from 100,000 subscribers on Reptiliatus channel. So for that everyone, I just want to say Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Kind of looked like I was doing karate chops there, but no, really, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Truly, sincerely, it means so much to me. I can't believe I'm about to hit this milestone, and it's completely thanks to you, my beloved community. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Your support and viewership means the world to me. So, guys, <laughs> could be happening this week for all I know. By the trajectory or the analytics I'm following, it very well might be. So, for that, yeah, it's just unbelievable. Anyways, enough of the cheesiness. I wanted to take the time to show my appreciation by thanking Ethan, Trinity, and Dave for becoming my newest channel patrons. Thank you so much for your added support. It means so much to me. And for those of you that are part of the $5 tier and up, better cover the addresses. I have personal thank you letters that are going out this week, so you should be getting those hopefully in the next few weeks. Really excited. Got a bunch of stickers made for you guys with the Reptiliatus logo, which is a lot of fun, and I hope you're gonna enjoy my letters. Sorry, my writing really sucks. I'm just gonna let you know. <laughs> Fair warning. Today, we're going to be doing a silkworm feeding video, as the title clearly indicates. You know, if you work with silkworms, if you use them as feeders, by now you're probably aware that they're a pretty delicate feeder insect. They're very prone to infections, and when that happens, you kind of blink, and next thing you know, they've turned to mush, and it really sucks. That can also make it hard to distribute them and get a hold of them as a food source for your animals. So you may have noticed I haven't made a silkworm feeding video in the last few weeks, and that's because I haven't been able to get any good silkworms. For the last little while, the pet store I get them from was either sold out or was getting tiny little ones that weren't really worth my time to buy and feed to my animals to make a video about. <laughs> Finally, I got a hold of some decent sized silkworms. I've been feeding them some mulberry chow, which I've bought and prepared to grow them out a bit. We can do an awesome silkworm feeding video, so I'm really excited to get into that with you guys. Guys. And guys, you know, I don't emphasize this enough, but if you don't mind giving this video a thumbs up, it really helps the channel go a long way, tells YouTube that people are enjoying the content, and you know, be honest about it. Don't do it if you didn't enjoy the video, but you know, if you did that little extra push, if you didn't think it would help, it really does. Let's go ahead and get started on today's feeding video. Hi, Sabzi. And yeah, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy. Okay, friends, so Sabzi is expecting some food here. She is being a green, curious George, aren't you? All right, everyone, so since Sabzi is so persistent about getting on the desk and discovering some food, I figured we could just feed her here. Sabzi, can you come here? Hey, look what I have for you. Hey, look. Yeah, I'm gonna just move my keyboard and my mouse away because, well, ah, maybe my coffee too. Okay, can you please eat that here? Stay off everything else. <laughs> so a bunch of you guys have asked why it is that Sabzi always rubs her food against the ground before she swallows it. And that's sort of, oh yeah, see, that's why we gotta watch out for the mess. That's what varanids do. Um, they sort of press their food around. And I think part of that is definitely so that they can position the food in the orientation that best allows them to sort of chug their food down right away because they don't really chew, they just swallow, as you can see here. And that's kind of what Sabzi's doing with her silkworm. You can see she's realigning it so it goes down straight. And now she's there, chugs it down whole. Seems like that silkworm was particularly slimy and stuck to the top of her mouth. So took her a little longer to get that one down than usual, but she got it. And now she's already looking for more. Good opportunity to show you guys those two mystery toes. We never figured out what happened there with the vet. But as you can see, they're completely healed. 
they just don't have the nail bed anymore. But yeah, she locomotes or climbs and everything just fine. Fortunately, that foot still has three good nails and it really didn't hinder her whatsoever. Isn't that right, girl? So if you've seen my video where I show you all the puzzles and little toys that you can introduce to monitor lizards as a means of enrichment and stimulation, you'll know that I use this woven ball uh, for small animals and rodents to basically gently insert silkworms into them or other types of prey insect so that Sabzi has to extract them um, to get the prize, so to speak. So let's go ahead and offer this hanging ball with a silkworm in it to her now. All right, so usually I hang the ball up on that branch there. So let's go ahead and try that. And well, she is just uh, very, uh, very eager to be a part of whatever's going on, isn't she? Here, you can come. All right, so the ball is hanging. All right, let's see what she makes of it. Hey girl, come check this out. Come Sabzi, look. What's that? She knows what's in there. I hope. <laughs> and as you can see, Tree monitors can use tactile function to get their prey. So you'll see them also use their hands to reach into small spaces, she's trying to do right now, uh, to extract prey, which is quite exciting and exceptional for reptiles. So we'll see how she figures this little puzzle out, you could say, to extract the silkworm. <laughs> she is up in the top corner there, but she's using her um, tongue to pick up on chemical compounds. Very eager animal. Don't stick your head in there too far. Hey, cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. She does that every time. <laughs> All right, fine. I guess you're allowed to do that. I mean, there's no rules to this game, are there? There's nothing in there anymore. It's done. <laughs> She's checking for another one. Silly goose. Here, I'm gonna give you one more, okay? You can have one more silkworm. Oh. Making a big mess. <laughs> good girl, Sabsy. Good girl. Is that good? Is that tasty? Alright, everybody. There we go. Let's move on. All right, everybody, so the Shinisaurus have been doing really well. I suspect that they're all hiding down here somewhere, so we'll try and lure them out for a silkworm snack. They're all hiding right now, so usually what I do is toss in a bunch of crickets, gets them coming out to chase and hunt those, and uh, when they come out, we can feed them the silkworms. For now, let's go ahead and feed E.T. the Extraordinary Turtle, 
and then we can come back and see if any of these guys are out in the open ready to eat no sabzi no no more for you well 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 look what we have here mr et taking a bath in his freshly cleaned water dish of course he's doing that once it's clean but i gotta hand it to him it brings me a great deal of relief to see et kind of not want to be in his water dish if it's dirty uh just less to worry about you know him pooping in the water and swimming in it so fortunately this spoiled little guy doesn't really go back into the water dish until it's clean so if he bathes in here and takes a poop he pretty much just hangs out on his cork or behind his kangaroo fern until I've cleaned it out. Anyways, let's go ahead and see if this little dude is interested in having a tasty silkworm. I have one here. Hi buddy. Want a silkworm? What's that? Is that a silkworm? Can you come for it? Yeah. Yeah, you're so cute. Look at that. It's up here. Oh, look at those googly eyes. He's kind of like cautious, but oh, 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 yeah, you got it. Ah, <laughs> good job. Now he's gonna walk away. He always does this with bigger food. He always wants to take it somewhere to eat in private. For today's question of the day, my question to you all is, have you ever had the opportunity to use silkworms as a food source for your pets? And if so, how did that work out? Which animals like them the best? And yeah, let me know in the comment section. I'm very interested to see how receptive your pets are to eating silkworms. And you know, I understand that many of us don't have the privilege of using silkworms as feeder insects. So for you guys, let me know what <laughs> She's on the camera again. Let me know what you guys enjoy using most as feeder insects. I know that I wish that cockroaches and, oh, that tickles with the nails. I wish that cockroaches and locusts were legal to keep and use as feeders in Canada. If I want to get real technical, I should probably mention there are two species of cockroach that are technically legal to have in Canada, um, but you know, like dubias and things like that would be nice to use anyhow. And of course, I'll give your comment a heart and we'll engage in a bit of a conversation. I'll leave it at that. She's very, very inquisitive and she gets like this when she's hungry. Here is Pingu, doing great. Uh, I'm really hoping that she's gravid. I'm crossing my fingers that she and Rambo, I'm hoping that they've been breeding. Anyway, let's see if she wants a silkworm. I have no idea what's going on with her Dracaena Janet Craig. It's, it's not been looking so good lately. There you go, girl. Oh, oh, there we go. That was like the most gentle takedown Pingu has ever given me. What was that, you silly goose? Doing the nom nom, eh? That tasty? Good girl. Oof. Ooh, that was juicy at the end. I don't know, guys. It might be too soon to say, but Pingu is looking pretty bulky there. Hopefully, that's a good sign. All right, friends. We are back in the living room, and just as I suspected, at least one of the Shinisaurus are out. Unfortunately, it's also my shyest animal, so definitely cross your fingers that she doesn't run away. It's already not looking too promising. I'll open the door slowly. And uh, I guess we'll see what she does. Hopefully she will not bolt. Would you like a silkworm? Please don't be scared. I'll put it right here and you can decide if you want it. Just squirming around for you. Couldn't be more enticing. It's gonna fall off the leaf if you don't get it. Sometimes when I rub things on her mouth, she eats them, but... Oh. Might be one of those times. Come on, girl. 
Yes. Okay. Perfect. Oh, happy day. <laughs> uh, she actually took one. Thank goodness. All right, now swallow. There's more where that came from if you finish it. You're good. Ooh, look at those teeth. like that silkworm's holding on to her chin for dear life. <laughs> there we go. I think she's got it. Good girl. All right, you want another one? Oh, she's out of here. <sighs> yep, that's how it goes with these guys. Sometimes they just get spooked and dive in the water and don't come back for some time. So I just realized that my male is here. He might be willing to eat. By the looks of it, he is. Come on, buddy. I like a silkworm. Come on. There you go. Time to see if the Toke twins want a silkworm. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, you definitely want one. There you go. Yep. Yes. Nice job. Mmm. <laughs> oh, you want one too, eh? Yeah, I know. Come on. Out you come. You want to come out? Oh, holy macaroni, okay. Dang, that was, uh, I was not expecting to be able to lunge that far. That was impressive. All right, enjoy. Well, everybody, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's feeding video. Sabzi definitely did, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that's uh, just another silkworm feeding video on the wraps. If you would like to see more silkworm feeding videos, there's a link up above to the silkworm feeding video playlist. Yeah, without further ado, I look forward to seeing you guys in another video again soon. See you all on Friday, and who knows, by then we might be even closer to 100,000 subscribers on the channel. All right, everybody, take care and have a wonderful week.